The umbilical cable is what connects the ROV to the ship. It takes all of the power down to the vehicle over copper electrical conductors at high voltage. It takes all of the data, control signals and video signals all over fibre optic cables. And perhaps the most important function is its um, method for recovering the vehicle. So we actually winch the vehicle up via this cable. Our umbilical cable is being manufactured in the UK and the, the core of this cable is five electrical conductors for power and five fibre optic cables for data. They've got a machine that feeds in the raw materials, combines the electrical cable stock and the fibre optic tube. Then this core is covered in a, a polyethylene jacket and then the main step of this process is laying up the armour around that cable core. So this gives us maximum strength and torsional balance because when we start stretching this cable, we don't want to encourage the cable to twist. The testing process for the umbilical cable is threefold. A big component of testing this cable is the electrical insulation resistance and ideally there's no short circuits, there's no faults in the cable and that cable retains that voltage. Our first cable has passed that test with flying colours. Then we can also test fibre optic attenuation. So we have five fibre optics and that's transmitting all of our data for the vehicle, the control systems, the video, everything. So we'll put a control power source on one end of the cable and a power meter on the other end and confirm that the optical power loss in the cable is as predicted as expected. And again, the cable passed as we anticipated. The final step of the testing is testing the braking strength of the cable. We will cut a small segment of the cable run which is representative of the entire cable and that's taken to a third party facility where the, each of the ends are terminated and loaded into a machine that can stretch it out. And it, it starts pulling on the cable and there's a load cell in series with the cable that's measuring the force we're applying to the cable so we know exactly how much force is put on the cable when it fails. And we actually take this test section to destruction. There's a huge bang and the ground shakes and all of the tension in the cable is instantaneously relieved. And we measure at what force that happened. In this case, the cable failed significantly beyond the specification.